Hi guys, it's Tasha, Mom Bear Prepping. So welcome to the channel, welcome back to the channel. I've got a topic for you today that obviously is the topic that we've been talking about for a while. And so it's, it's not gonna be any kind of secret, okay? So get your drink and pull up. Okay, mm, that cucumber, baby. Okay, so let's talk about supply and demand, okay? I have concerns, I've had concerns over supply and demand for months and months and months. So has a ton of people in the community, okay? Um, if you are any kind of, um, I don't wanna say a regular subscriber, right? I'm not the only channel that you're watching that's, that's like this, right? That's about preparedness in some capacity has been talking about this. So it's no surprise, so supply and demand. And I want to just press upon you one, I'm gonna tell you some things that I'm seeing. Two, um, it's not like anything I haven't said already about press, press, press. Keep getting what you need to get, right? Keep doing the things. And I'm just here to press the urgency of do not stop prepping. Every single day, you need to be doing something for the area of preparedness and preparing your home and preparing your family, okay? And that can be very subtle things to major purchases, okay? But it's gonna get bad, okay? We're on the heels of another shutdown of a huge port in China. I've read a few things. Some are saying that it's the biggest port if you talk about tonnage that goes through it. Some are reporting it's the third largest in the world as far as um, supply chain type port, right? So there's a couple different discrepancies, but what they all are consistent on is it's definitely a China uh, port uh, and it shut down supposedly because of um, one case of COVID. So that's a little wonky right there. Um, you don't typically shut down everything on, on a one case type of situation, okay? So again, like anything else we see in the media, um, you take it for what it is, you keep researching, you keep doing your stuff, okay? Again, that's just a little tiny piece of intel, you know, that I take in and then it is what it is. It doesn't stop me from moving forward with the things that were already on the plate to take care of. Now, we've been seeing shortages. I'm going to give you some examples though, okay? So, once upon a time, you could go to the store and always get what you wanted okay you could always get the types of food that you wanted types of snacks you could always go like we would go to home depot for example always could get what we wanted always okay um taking that back from not talking inflation just talking straight availability of stuff that you're trying to get your hands on right never has been a problem but we've been talking about this so we're expecting to see shortages and sure enough few months back we started seeing shortages about a month and a half ago we went to get some butane and they were out could not didn't have any okay um was able to put in an order so that when they got it we we were able to get another case of some butane fuels okay so we were able to get it after a few weeks after we ordered it okay um today so we're getting ready to hit the road here in the next couple days right and to head up to our house in Washington and kind of just do some stuff. About to do several hauls that I'll bring to you guys in some videos um, that food hauls that I plan to do up there to get more food up there. And you know, we're just doing the things that need to be done to prepare to just like anybody would do to get ready, okay? Now, we have a patio garden, right? And recently, I have put it on its self-watering system, right? It's been on that for um, about a month and a half now, right? But we realized the amount of water um, that the buckets hold, the five gallon buckets, we're gonna need more, another bucket basically to have um, the water, uh, available water there will last longer, right, as we're gone. Okay, so no big deal, we go there and they don't have our bucket. Um, not only do they not have our bucket, they don't have any buckets. And so now we're finding ourselves, okay, let's go to Lowe's, whatever. Now what's crazy is, for them to not have the specific bucket that we wanted or that we got last time, no big deal, okay? But to not have any buckets, that's telling, okay? Um, this goes back to something I told you guys, I don't know what video I probably talked about it in, but I talked about things that would go, okay? Either go fast or eventually you would get to a point where you could not get them anymore. And prepping supplies, prepping items, preparedness items was that thing that I said, look, eventually people catch on okay and you couple covid going on right 
you couple, you know, um, just, you know, the lockdowns, the supply and demand. I mean, you, you name it, there's reasons why we're seeing this, okay? But Texas, whatever, as many things are happening, people start to be like, oh, okay, maybe it's important to start preparing, start, even if they're not a prepper, just start stacking food, stacking water. Hey, I'm not gonna get caught again in a, some kind of storm or whatever, and I'm not prepared, right? More people are out buying the things, buying the prepping things, lanterns, cook stoves, you know, generators, you know, all those things people are, there is, parts of the world in the United States that are getting smart and buying these things. And it's gonna be a matter of time where you're not able to see them. Butane was an example. These buckets now as an example. Um, my winners from my 1K, I had a winner that um, typically I can get anything off of Amazon. Went to get a water bob, none. Absolutely zero available from any buyers on Amazon. Had to go to the company. Then there was some kind of mix up where they were like, oh, something happened, we don't have it. I'm like, what? Like, so it's getting wonky out there, you guys, okay? There's things that you're not able to get your hands on, okay? What's the other thing I wrote down? Oh, same thing, the water bricks. Typically, I can get six packs all day long of any kind of water container, water bricks being one of them. Went to buy my one of the winners, one of the subscribers, you girl. Um, the water bricks and I ended up having to go to a different company um, away from Amazon and thank God was able to get them but it's just another another source of you know things are just not there how about let's talk about Amazon you order stuff on Amazon and yes Amazon messes up right they send you the wrong size they don't something doesn't come that says it's gonna come to you right doesn't get delivered to the right place right I'm not really talking about the the everyday drama of packages and Amazon, but I'm talking about the fact that there's a lot more on there of, oh, we don't have this, or, hey, here's a date you're gonna get something, and then all of a sudden it goes from being on its way to you to, oh no, this is delayed now. And when it's delayed, we're not talking about, oh, it's delayed because something happened to the truck and it'll be here the next day. We're talking about days and days delayed, as in it went somewhere else and they're just not on top of their system. Okay, <clears throat> so this video is just to press upon you the urgency to continue to prep every single day. Do not stop prepping. Do not stop doing your emergency plans. Do not stop making your list of preparedness items you want. Do not stop watching videos of the, of the community sharing information for you. Do not stop watching your news outlets and your different research and different places that you go to get information. Now is not the time to let your foot off the gas. Now is not the time to be like, okay, I'm ready. I'm gonna sit back. Shit hitting the fan has clearly already started, you guys. A soft one at that, okay? Now's not the time to just be like, okay, we're gonna chill, we have everything we need. No, no, it is not the time to um, fall back, okay? It is the time to absolutely push forward and get the things you need, okay? I can't stress it enough, do not stop. Do not sit there and say you have enough, you do not. Even if you have been doing this for decades, I promise you, you have holes or there's an area that you should not be stopping on preparing for anyway. Food and water should never stop. Medicine should never stop. Fuels should never stop. There are certain things that even if you are the baddest of the baddest, okay, that you should be continuing to stock up, okay? And if you need some reminders, watch the stinking news. If you need another reminder, watch some shows. Watch The Barrier, okay, on Netflix. It's like for real some some 1984 stuff. I mean, it's some real New World Order stuff. It's crazy, okay? And if you just see how they are living, that's enough to make you be like, nah, I'm gonna stack up and we're gonna do our own thing and we're gonna dig in and we're not doing that, all right? So 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm excited to see in the comments below what you guys think. By the time you guys are watching this, I'll probably be on the road. Um, so if I don't reply right away, that's why we're on the road. Um, but in the evening time, I'll check the comments and I'll start replying back to you guys, okay? So blessings from my bear cave to yours, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.